So the sketchbook is just a place for me to record ideas and little doodles. Like there's no like really fine drawings in here. For me, this is like fantastic because sometimes I'll get stuck on what to work on. And I have years and years of sketchbooks kind of lying around. And some of them are just uh, fantastic and some are stupid. Um, there's all levels of quality of imagery making in my sketchbooks. I sit here and I do this. I try to kind of search out the drawing first, right from the beginning. I don't want the drawing and the form to be the same. Like I want there to be a little bit of push and pull where it feels like the drawing and the form are kind of like the chicken and the egg. That you don't know which one came first. There's always this little bit of uncomfortable beginning every time I start a new piece. Like how do I get a drawing to fit on here? And sometimes I, like my brain just clicks and I, I know exactly what that is. Other times it's a little bit trickier so when I started doing clay, it seemed to me like it was a great material to draw on. One thing that I usually have going on in my work is that there's a sense of the self and the other. This guy is looking sideways because he's looking at someone who's over here. And that's usually where my work begins, is the idea of, of kind of the self and the others, or, or the other and the self. Who we are is kind of based on this idea of recognizing who we're not. So when I talk about otherness, I, I feel like it is, it is the one thing about humans that really make us human. If we didn't have something that was different from us, we wouldn't be able to identify who we are as individuals. Just recently, I've been experimenting with this matte glaze. It's um, actually two different glazes that are on top of each other. It's really tricky because they have to be super watered down to a degree that you would think it would be impossible to use. One on top of the other and fire to just the right temperature. And so I've been playing around with this for like the past six months and it's just only just starting to work for me. But what it does is that this glaze combination forms little crystals and that really meets out the colors um, quite a bit. So, so there is a difference in kind of the intensity of the colors. I like the matte surface because I feel like it's easier to see the drawings. And with the gloss glaze, um, it's easier to see the form because there's no reflections with the matte glaze. There's something interesting about being one of very few African Americans in ceramics and just kind of struggled with the idea of making work that seemed very African American. So it makes me very interested in this concept of otherness as opposed to being sort of a tribalistic artist. I think a lot of times people feel like there is an ethnic quality to my work, but they don't quite know what it is. And I kind of like that. There's room to experiment with how finished something looks like leaving something a little bit raw. Sometimes I'll do something knowing that it should be one more step to get it done, but then I'll just leave it because it just looks right. Sometimes that unfinished look, is just what that particular thing needs to give it that energy or excitement.